Generic greetings, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the colony simulation simulator by Clear Entertainment, a game I've featured several times on the channel and done many series on, and is honestly one of the better games I've played this year. In fact, it's one of the best games I've played this year, mainly because of its accessibility, but also its depth. It's very easy to get into, but very hard to master. It's got all of the things you would want, so you've got colonists, and you place buildings, and you dig things out, but it's also got uh, water and energy distribution, um, temperature and and atmosphere propagation and loads of advanced systems that a lot of games don't have but either way I have not played this in quite a while there's been a couple of updates since my last series there's been the temperature upgrade which was mainly to make temperature actually a thing in the game it didn't really play much of a it didn't have much of a purpose when uh, we when you originally played it, but they've changed it so there's now hot and cold extremes and you really have to worry about temperature in a lot of cases. And now this is the uh, the latest update is the agricultural update, which changes the way crops are grown and you make food and a couple of other things. Either way, we're going to do a full series on it and uh, yeah, go into a new game and create our brand new colony. The idea is that you will have three uh, duplicants, I believe they're called, or we'll probably end up calling them replicants or just colonists, and then we will dig things out. So... I'll have a quick shuffle here. We've got Marie, who's very good at tinkering, who's got a loud sleeper. Now, there's a couple of downsides on these traits that you just don't want. Uh, probably, loud sleeper is the worst, uh, arguably, because it it just really affects everybody else. So, you really don't want that one. Narcoleptic isn't too bad. They've got plus 12 learning, good construction, athletics, digging, and strength. I think, Joshua, you're coming with me, level 12 scientist. But, you can see they are, uh, they have high deco expectations. We might have to deal with that one. We've also got a slow learn here, so it's minus three learning, but they have got construction, cooking, and digging. That's okay. And that is, uh, there's Nisbet. And then finally, we've got um, Ruby, who is a good athletics and strength. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We don't have someone with tinkering. Um, I guess we'll have to deal with that. Yeah, that'll be okay. Athletics is good, and strength is good for carrying and um, combat. Yeah, that, that's a nice... A nice mix there. So Joshua, Nisbet, and Ruby. I'm going to say Nisbet several times. Uh, and we've got the colony name, which will be the Great Cosmos. No. Hip Timeline. <laughs> Worstic Galaxy. Where does it come up with these things? Uh, it's just going to be the G Colony, isn't it? Um, G Colony. Right, embark. Let's see how this goes. I might spell that wrong. Don't care. Don't care. So we get placed in the center of an asteroid or something, and there we are. And alert! Your crew is walking miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar asteroid. Oddly, they have no recollection of how we got there. Ooh, some sort of science experiment. So we're going to pause it first. And get rid of these couple of pop-ups that we just don't need. And where do we start? Let's have a quick look at our surroundings. So we can see that we are right in the centre and around us there's a lot of stone, a lot of sandstone, a lot of algae, lots of sand and some dirt and not much copper. Copper will be the problem later on. Although there is some copper on the right hand side and above us as well and there's also a vein sort of northwestish. So that's okay. We've also got a very good stash of water here and here so I don't think we're gonna have any problems with water and there's also some down the bottom here the problem we will have is crops and there's also some massive thistles here that's a bristle blossom yes yeah, basically a thistle um so crops is going to be a bit of a problem because we don't have any mealworm type stuff. Oh, there's mealwood over there, so we can probably go for that one. Right, so I guess we're going to have to do a lot of digging here, so let's crack on. We'll go to dig and we'll set as a priority nine. And then we're going to dig out probably up to there and then up to there. I don't... Uh, now, I probably need to measure roughly where we need to go with the digging. We're going to have a ladder coming down probably here. So we want to dig out to about there. And then the same thing on this side. We want a ladder, I'm guessing, coming down here. So that is a little bit too far for the digging. We'll cancel that out. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to. We, we are going to dig out much further to the left. So let's just. We'll just. We'll do that. And that's going to be our rough base level for the time being but we will probably change that up as we progress on it'll probably go longer now let's have a quick look at some of the tabs um i, I don't know if you've actually watched the previous series or not but you've got different overlays and it shows you um very important things like for example oxygen so this is the ambient oxygen high concentration is in the light the light blue then the dark blue is sufficient and then it goes to low which is purple and then red which is unbreathable and you can mouse over it and you can see that that is actually uh, carbon dioxide so unbreathable 
Uh, and you also get things like, um, is that methane or is that just there's nothing there? As it's just nothing there, it's a vacuum. That'll be a vacuum. That'll be a vacuum. Yeah, there's different vacuums about the place. And you also get hydrogen and stuff, which um, you don't want to. You probably don't want to prime breathe that. Uh, okay, and then you've got power grid. Obviously, we haven't got any power stuff at the moment. We've got uh, ambient temperature, which is quite new. At least it's too new to me. I've never uh, played about with the temperature stuff in the game. We can see that we have um, molten is red, uh, temperate is in the green. So green is the one you ideally want because it's nice and warm. This is chilled for some reason by the look of it, which is interesting. And you can mouse over it and again you can see it says 22.2 degrees C, 19 degrees C, yeah, 22. And then you go to things like this where it's getting warm and that's 30 odd degrees C. That is, that's very, very warm there. That is um, 38 degrees C. And there's no cold, oh no, there is some cold around here. Look, you can see it is... Uh, snow apparently all right okay and uh, polluted ice some frozen algae yeah you get the idea right so we'll just uh, drop that down but you understand that that exists so you can see we've got a lot of carbon dioxide here so we'll have to worry about that uh, yeah we will have to worry about that but let's let's just ignore it for the time being we should be all right um for a little while let's just place some ground here and then what i want to do is go for a ladder and then put a ladder that goes down like so and as you can see what we'll end up doing is digging down to this next layer uh, they're saying they're very very cold yes i'm aware i'm sorry it's nothing i can do about it at the moment uh actually this is something i can do at the moment i can probably go over to um or can i not i don't know it is in utilities and there's a space heater but you need uh raw resources that I don't have. Oh well. Fine. Anyway, so these are going to get placed and then dug down to this level. Then we see we've got a lot of algae here. Before we do anything else, let's go to furniture and cot and we'll change that to a priority level 9 and we'll place one, two, three cots in there. It's important to actually get them so they can sleep. You can see we're going through the cycle now. It's only... Well, we're not... Uh, we're nowhere near the end day, but there you go. So I'll place the cots, one, two, and then three, and then they can sleep there. No, no really, really nice posh beds or anything like that. Three generic units of sleeping quarter is, it's not great, it is what it is. Right, so they're digging down. Uh, you can see this thing here, by the way, this is uh, ox light. It's a ore that apparently is just, it just pumps out oxygen. It's just for your start and stuff like that. Really cold for some reason, that's interesting. Never seen that to start off with. Um... No, it seems to be okay. It says temperate. So there must be like a little cold spot somewhere. <laughs> I think every house has that, doesn't it? You know, you've got an area. Oh, God, this, it's always cold in this room. It's always cold. Um, right, so the next one we need to do is have a floor that goes along like so. And then we will put a ladder there and there and there. And then finally we will go to dig and then dig out all of that. There we are. So that's going to dig out this bottom floor. This one is going to be for probably power generation. I think we'll go for power generation sooner rather than later. Now, the problem I've got at the moment is that I've A, got no research, uh, because I haven't got a research station, but we'll be trying to get that up as soon as possible. And also, no crops. And again, that's, that's more towards research stuff, though. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, so we're digging all this out. No problem at all. Obviously, we're going to get access to the water. We have to worry about the water not being contaminated, so we're going to try and not drop loads of dirt into it, but hey-ho. Um, we'll probably go for a ladder that will go all the way down like so, because we can, and we have access to this. What we also need, and what you generally have a lot of problems with um, very early game, and well, as the game progresses on, really, it's something that uh, is just an issue throughout your entire play, but it's very, very much of a problem after the first couple of days, is the unbreathable oxygen situation. Uh, so you will get carbon dioxide. So uh, Not unbreathable oxygen, but unbreathable atmosphere, should we say. So you get carbon dioxide, you get other pollutants that is just not suitable for um, huffing. And what will happen is your colonists will be okay. But look, you see they're holding their breath there? And you can see this bar moving down? That's because they, are not, they don't have enough oxygen to breathe. So if I go over to my oxygen overlay, which is... 
that one. You can see it is unbreathable. It's all carbon dioxide. And the way to fix that, I've found, is have like a well, have a sump, as I like to call it. So it'll, all of the carbon dioxide will go down because oxygen lighter goes up, pushes the carbon, well, the carbon dioxide goes down. And then at the bottom of somewhere, like probably in the bottom of here, we will have a couple of, I don't think we've got them, no. We, don't, we definitely don't have them yet, but it's um, these things, the algae terrarium. And what it does is turn carbon dioxide into oxygen and it just uses algae. So that is very, very, very useful for our purposes. Uh, what's that? That is some sort of blossom. What the hell is that? It is a blossom seed. Um, that's dirt. I want to click on the blossom seed. It's a bristle blossom. Digging up objects may uncover that. Yes. Primary element genetic ooze. Ugh. And I've never used it before. I've never grown that blossom because this is new stuff, I believe, for the growing stuff. I normally use that thing, the, uh, the mealwood. Every plant in the game has like a, a preferred temperature and pressure and things like that. I don't know if later on there are some plants that require like a really high pressure, a pressure that, for example, we as colonists cannot survive in. I don't know if that's a, like an advanced feature or not. It would be nice to see if it isn't anywhere. Uh, what we'll do, we'll knock it up a little bit on terms of speed just to uh, get this thing started and then we will dig further down perhaps? I think so. Um, I want to go I want to go quite vertical rather than horizontal at the moment just because we need to get this sump put in. The question is where do I put the ladder? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to pause it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the middle, is it? Okay. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that is correct. Okay, dig. And dig. All the way down. I mean, mm, do you want to do that? I don't know. Actually, don't know if it's the right choice. I don't think it is, actually. Cancel that. The reason I don't think that is the right choice is because if we do that, let's just go to cell, deconstruct. If we do that, what will happen is we won't be able to dig out the rest of this. So it's best that we dig it out first. You notice, by the way, I'm not going towards this water. I'm not putting it right next to the water. The reason for that is if I... Oh, they're all going to sleep. Hey, there's our first over productive. If I if I um, go right next to this water here and we put the tiles there, for a start you have to remove the excess dirt and then put the tile in which would allow for water to leak and then we'd have to sweep it up and it's just a, a bit of a nightmare. But also it simulates pressure pressure on these things. So you'll be going down here and because you've just got one thin wall and then an open gap rather than solid sandstone, this wall will start to get damaged and crack and then eventually leak and break, which is um, awesome because, you know, not, not many games do that, but it's also really annoying. Anyway, let's go over to... I really want that there. But we don't have... Metal is yet to be discovered. We don't have metal. We really, 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 really do need to get metal, and sooner rather than later. So what I'm going to have to do, which pains me because I'm going to... I don't have an airlock, do I? No, I don't. I'm going to have to just get my ladder out and dig up. Like that. And I don't want to dig into that because that's going to have all my oxygen go up. But I'll dig into this vein here, and then I'll dig all that out. And then I'll dig all that out. Like so. And that'll be a nice vein for us to uh, extract. We'll go to max speed here. And we'll let them crack on. Uh, they also need to use the toilet, which I haven't got. So let's get said 
outhouse in. I'm going to put it to this side because... Ooh, actually, let's put it down there for now. <laughs> um, and actually got to prioritise. I didn't change the priority, but I'm going to change the priority of that to nine. And um, they all want to use the toilet. The problem is that if I put it on this floor here, what may happen is the... The, um... The toilet might leak, or these might not be able to have access to it, and then it will go everywhere. You know, all of the um, uh, fluids and perhaps solids, and maybe not so solids that are half fluids, and ugh, will go everywhere and then drip into. Oh, yeah, it's happened. There you go. Look, they've just weed themselves, and it's about to drip into the water and then contaminate the water with wee. Thank you very much for that. Let me just go to mop and then mop the entire thing out. Oh, good grief. And there you go. Look, we've now got contaminated water. Lovely. Just what I wanted. Polluted water, it is called. And you can actually mop it up, though. So I'm going to go to the bottom and mop it. And because otherwise that will then spread and we just. It's not something we want. Um, I think that is now mopped up, is it? I think that's. Uh, I think we're going to cancel that because I think it might be mopping up the entire water system. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's cleared, yeah. Okay. So, obviously, we're going to go up the top. Oh, there's some more there as well. Okay, we'll mop that. So, polluted water, we know about, sorted. We now have access, as you can see, to space heater, to microbe mushes. We have power. There you go. Power distribution now. Excellent. So, what I'm going to. Someone fallen asleep up there? Yes, yeah, someone has fallen asleep. We have got an narcoleptic. Um, okay, so we're going to put it here. And then we will have tiny batteries next to it. And then we'll have electrical wire that goes down, across, and then up. Because electrical wire is actually... Um, it, it does... It does give you negatives in terms of decor. Look, you can see it goes max power, uh, 1,000 watts, and also a decor minus 5 for a one-tile radius. So if we put it under the ground, or you can put it, like, under here, then it'll be better for us. There you go. Let's go over to our... Is it stations? Yes, and have a research station. Uh, we'll put a big one in first. Where would it be? It would be there it would go. So we can put one... A small one here. Hang on, the big one's going to go there. Gap of one, then it'll go there. Yep, that's fine. Okay, same deal again. We'll go to power, electrical wire, and we'll have that along, and then up to there. And then once that's in, we can start doing research. But there you go. We got a we got a we got a merc route. Looks like a weird space pair. And also because we've now uncom uh, uncovered this ox light, you can see it's now kicking our oxygen to fill all of this in, which is why I went over that side. We can see we've also uncovered a lot of this, which is some algae and some clay and some slime. Slime you can convert stuff. And then we've also got water and that's natural gas, which you can actually have natural gas de generators in this game. Let's go to dig and dig all of this out. And then we're going to go further down. And we also need to go to research, and we'll start researching farming. So you've got farming, you've got fine dining, you've got gas pumping. Essentially, we're going to be going for probably farming first, and then we want to do uh, the gas piping, which gives us the gas permeable tile, which allows gas to flow through it. Because this thing here, this ladder, we might not keep. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But that is our first day on the colony. Not a bad start, I don't think. Maybe a bit of a misplay when because I, I didn't place the outhouse early enough, but it's in. We're all sorted there. We are generating power. We have batteries, so we're no longer wasting power. That'll still power things um, throughout the day if we don't ha want to have people running on that one. Next episode, we will tunnel down a bit more. We'll put another level in here, and then finally we'll have our sump. We'll dig a lot of this out. You can see there's some oxalite there, so that'll help us a bit. We might even dig down right to the bottom at this point, but um, and then, we, then we'll probably cap it off once we've gathered it. But not too bad at all. You can see we've got decent resources. We've got a lot of copper on the right. We've got a lot of algae up here, a lot of copper at the top, and then you've also got a lot of water, which eventually will go for full water distribution systems, where we'll have a so uh, like a, a septic tank, and we'll actually clean the water out, which we have done before, but um, we'll get more into that as we progress on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. Oh, look at them sleeping there. Where it's really, really cold, apparently. <laughs>